he's getting you know his his product out there um, and also he's probably sending selling a ton so when you sell a ton of units yeah he's selling 4,500 units, guys. That is absolutely insane. He's making $80,000 a month with 62 reviews. That is, this is the power of differentiation. Hey, what is up, everyone? I was going to do some product research today anyway, so I decided why not do it live for you guys today. So pretty much these are the categories I like to choose from. These are the most profitable ones that I've found. Um, Baby is also good. Pet Supply is also good. And Sports and Outdoors is also good. But they are incredibly competitive, so I stay away from them. But you guys go ahead and check those out if you want to. Now, these are very, very popular. And I want to talk to you guys about these because a lot of people have been asking me about them. This looks pretty cool too. And just look for stuff that is going to be easily manufactured in China. For me, it's kind of easy for now because I've had a lot of experience with it. But um, if you guys aren't sure, just open it up and do some research on it and figure out if it can be made in China. 12-piece professional co cocktail shaker. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that might be a pretty good product as well. This one as well. We're just gonna keep opening stuff up, maybe one more, and then we're gonna go and do some, uh, you know, breaking down of the products. And this one. So let's just go into what we have opened up, and then maybe we'll come back and open up some more items to, you know, break down a little further. So this Yosu, okay, so this has been around for a while, guys. I wanna tell you guys about this product right here. Now, the problem with this product, okay? Uh, so yeah, see, it's been around for like, very long time, almost two years now. So I have seen this product, you know, here for, for, for quite a while. Pretty much the problem with this product and the problem with these kind of products is that they're 100 pairs or like 100 sets. So pretty much when you end up selling them, they don't have that much profit because they're only selling for like $19. They're actually, um, you know, end, end up not being very profitable. Another thing is the minimum quarter, uh, minimum order quantity is very high. Uh, because if in each set, in each you know pack you sell, there's 100 pieces uh, or 100 sets, um, you know it ends up being a lot. So it can get very expensive, especially for a beginning, you know, someone who's starting off. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend it. Also, a lot of people have had have had their eye on it for a very long time. That's my thoughts on that product. Um, so that's that's why I wouldn't do this one. So let's keep looking, and um, we can open up the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. If you guys don't know, this is the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. I have the pro version. You don't necessarily need it, but um, you know, I do recommend you definitely get uh, some sort of extension, whether it be Viral Launch or Jungle Scout. These ones are awesome. Um, so the thing you can do here is you can actually go and uh, look and see, you know, related products to the product you opened. So when we open products like we did in the web app, we're not necessarily looking for products that are, you know, going to be good selling products. We're looking about um, to find niches that might be profitable niches to sell them. So, for example, this product might not be the best product, even though it looks very profitable at this very moment. We're going to break it down even further, but there are also potentially, uh, you know, good products that are related to it. So in this case, you know, some some uh, women's bikini, you know, whatever, making really good money, 16000 with only 60 reviews. Another thing, this 200 pieces ice popsicle molds bags, uh, DIY. Okay, that looks super, super awesome. It's making a killing, like absolutely crazy amount of money um, for that. So let's just uh, take a second, look over this product and break it down and then see if this is actually going to be like a good product to sell or not. Also, one thing you have to ask, have to keep in mind, uh, when you're look, doing some product research, nowadays, a lot of people aren't telling you this, but uh, these products that are making so much money, they are seasonal. Some of them are going to be seasonal. As you can see, you know, summer's coming up. So this is becoming a very, very, uh, you know, profitable time to sell um, summer related items, obviously. This does look like a very good product to sell right now, though. He's only been selling for 36 days and he's making a killing. See, there's a ton more related products here, a ton more sponsored items. So let's just type in plastic pouches for drinks. Okay. And let's see how this, uh, you know, whole niche is looking like. So again, not too many reviews. So there's one guy here who has the most reviews. But other than that, it's a very low uh, review niche, which is awesome. That's what we're looking for. And let's see how much money they're actually making. Again, they're making a decent amount of money, guys. Like this is not bad money. And what I'm seeing right off the bat, first of all, it's a seven opportunity score, which is pretty good. Uh, and another thing that I'm seeing is that most of these people, so this one is a 50 piece disposable, uh, you know, drink set. So this is 50 pieces. This is also 50 pieces, so 50 pieces seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, this one is 100 pieces, one right here. Here's another 100 pack. Okay, so if I were to start this niche, I would start off by doing 100, piece, 100 pieces. Now, the only reason I would start off by doing 100 pieces is because there's a 50 piece guy here 
This guy's selling for 50 pieces. Uh, and he is he has 215 reviews. So I don't necessarily want to compete with him. I'd rather compete with this guy who has who's selling 100 piece sets. He's making $17,000, only has 13 reviews. So if I come in there, I could easily you know be making at least $10,000 a month if you improve on something. So the reason why this guy right here is also selling 100 pieces, but is only making $5,000 a month off my even though he has 50 reviews, my quick glance is showing me that. He's selling it for $23 and this guy's selling it for 19 or 20 bucks. So you have to understand that people aren't willing to spend, you know, that much more money. So let's say the $3, they're not willing to spend three more dollars for, you know, this guy's or wait, where is it? This guy's over this guy's because it's just a disposable, you know, pouch. Like no one cares for that. Like no one wants to spend $3 extra when it's literally the same thing. So that's the reason this guy isn't making as much money as this guy. Um, and that's what I'm noticing really quick. So I'd come in here, maybe sell it at uh, 18 $17. So let's say $18.99 or $17.99. Come in here at first, get ranked, and then bring it back up to $19.99. Sell it at the same price as this guy. And that way I would definitely uh, show up in you know the first page of this. So that's definitely a pretty, pretty interesting product to sell. Potentially a very good product to sell. And um, you know a pretty interesting niche to be in in general. So let's go keep going with this niche and let's see what other um, you know things we can we can look up here? Um, here's another one related to that. So if you were starting a brand, you know, in some sort of disposable uh, stuff, I guess you could easily sell this product as well because it's also a disposable, you know, kind of DIY thing, right? So let's see here. Yeah. So these pictures aren't amazing. They're not the greatest. Like literally, just you know, found off the internet and very very simple pictures. So. Um, not too great. The, the reviews aren't amazing. So if you can get it to four and a half stars, you'd actually be killing it. So let's go quickly and let's search in uh, all departments. That's the first thing you do. All departments, and you want to search it up the main keywords that a customer would search up. So in this case, we'd search up ice popsicle molds, I guess. Let's try that. Okay, so that's not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for disposable ice popsicle mode. So that would be like the main thing if we were looking at it. I believe that's the main keyword. Okay, guys, one big thing here, big problem. This guy has no reviews. Why is he spending on PPC? That's, you know, sometimes it blows my mind. Guys, do not spend money on PPC if you don't have reviews. Nobody is going to buy your thing. You're just gonna be spending a ton of money and you're not gonna be converting anyone. So that's huge, uh, you know, bonus tip for you guys. Another thing I'm noticing is that the first couple guys, one, two, three, all have over 100 reviews. You know, one has 200, 300, almost the other guy. So this is actually going to be a more competitive niche to go into. But what you can see is they're selling a 125 piece, a 150 piece, another 150 piece, 180 piece. And here's uh, the guy I believe that we were looking at who is selling a 200 piece. So I think that's why he differentiated himself by the amount, like by the quantity that he's doing. So let's open up the jungle scout and let's see, you know, how much they're making. Now back to the guy who is, you know, has zero views doing the PPC stuff. Uh, he's making a thousand dollars a month, but if he had some reviews, he'd be making a lot more. That's you know he's spending all that money on PPC. Uh, so let's just check over what's happening here. Yep. Okay. See. So as you guys can see, my breakdown here is what I'm noticing is that the 125 piece is doing really good, but what I'm seeing is because he has 300 reviews and it's a very cheap price as well. Okay. Um, this guy right here, 150 pack, he's doing decently. He's selling at eleven dollars. And, you know, I guess he has 118 reviews. He has the least amount of reviews of the top three, but he's still there. He's making a killing. Another guy, uh, he's selling for a dollar more, but he has more reviews. That's the reason he, why he's selling more than this guy. Potentially also his pictures are better. So that th those can all be reasons. But the one that I'm seeing the standout outlier here is this guy making the most money. He's making $36,000 a month, so more even than the first organic position. And he has 40 reviews, which is the, you know, super, super low. So again, if I was coming into this niche, the best thing to do, you know, there's nobody else who's selling 200 pieces, guys. This is, this is tips I'm giving you. You know, a lot of you guys can jump on this right now and make some money because I'm seeing that, yeah, literally nobody is selling a 200 piece. So quite clearly, you know, there's a need for 200 pieces. His pictures aren't that great. His price is the most expensive, right? Okay, pretty much the most expensive by, you know, a few bucks. So he's definitely having a good profit margin in there. And we can actually check his profit margin. Let's open up his listing and check the profit margin. Um, if you guys don't know, use these, this AMZ calculator. It's a free uh, Chrome extension and it'll show you, it'll break down, you know, um, the different um, kind of FBA fees and all that kind of stuff. So 
like you can see here, the product price is $14.99. Gives you all the dimensions, all that stuff. The storage fee, he's paying three cents in storage fees. Pick and pack is $4.71. His referral fee is $2.25. So his uh, margin impact is eight dollars, which means that he has on every single you know product he's making eight dollars minus the cost of manufacturing his product. So uh, let's say his landed cost is let's say two dollars, so he's making six dollars profit. So this guy has a bigger profit margin than the other guys because his product is you know more expensive. That's how it usually goes. So if I was starting this, start off with this product. This looks like a pretty good product to sell. Again, guys, be careful. It is seasonal. But you could make a ton of money for the season. You know, the season goes up until what end of August, September. Even you can get away with selling this, and then it'll taper off one once winter comes. Um, but you can still make some money during the winter. There are still states and stuff like that. You know that um, you know that have summer for pretty much year round. So uh, that that and let's go on to actually you know what? let's see if there's any related items to this one. And maybe you can go deeper into this niche and find more profitable products. So what you're what I'm doing here is when I open up this, I'm looking for the best ratio. So the best ratio of uh, you know revenue to reviews. So in this case, I'm not seeing anything too interesting. This one is a good one, but this is uh, you know again the popsicle molds. So we don't want we've already checked those out, and then you know these are the same yeah pretty much the same thing. So when you get to this point, then you can click off. But I think this is a great niche. I think it's a great product to sell. When we get over here, we've opened this up too. Okay, I, I know about this. This is a little bit uh, harder to sell, I think, because um, you need to have a higher initial investment. I'm pretty sure these actually have a you know pretty hefty cost to them, but I might be mistaken. Um, so this is not actually the most you know super interesting, just because it has. What I'm noticing is that the people who are making money uh, have a lot of reviews, and the ones who don't have so much are not making much, right? So um, let's see this one. Yeah, you know what? When I see stuff like this, when I open up stuff like this, I'm not too interested. But right here, see, there you go, 10,000 with, with 44 reviews. So that interests me. Let, let's open up this guy and see what he did differently that everyone else is not doing and why even with 44 reviews, he can be, you know, he's he's killing it. So let's just open up his, um, you know, the main keyword and see where they show up. So this is a uh, cocktail mixing set, okay? And let's see um, what's here. Okay, so he's sponsored. Right away, I'm noticing that he's sponsored, which could mean that he's using a ton of money on PPC, and that's kind of the way he's getting money, uh, or the way he's getting sales. So that could be a big thing. Another thing is he has a save $5 off coupon, so potentially the coupon is working really, really well on the conversions, so that could be a thing. Um, let's see how far down the list he is. So he obviously has, you know, ranked pretty well in here, especially with, you know, people who have 500 reviews and, you know, 1500 reviews, but let's open up the jungle scout and see what's going on on this page and why exactly he's here and why exactly he's making money. So again, I'd be kind of sketched to go into this niche just because I'm seeing that you need to have a lot of reviews to make money, but to have a lot of reviews, you need to have a lot of sales and that's where the problem comes in, right? So you got to be careful with something like that, but also I can see that he has a five-star rating. That's also making it, you know, a big reason of why he's showing up. This guy has a four and a half star and he's selling for a lot less and he's still not making that many sales, right? So in this niche, you have to have one very, very, very good quality product. And two, you need to have, uh, you know, try to get as many reviews as you can. And also obviously great pictures. You know, the more competitive uh, a niche gets, the, um, you know, better the pictures are, the better all that stuff is, and the better uh, and the bigger the barriers to entries are. So, um, you know, this guy spent a lot of money on pictures, this guy spent a lot of money on his whole design and all that stuff, but this potentially could be a good product to sell, but as, as you're seeing, right, the products cost a lot, which means that the initial investment is gonna also be hefty. So if this you're starting off with a first product, you obviously, you know, it's gonna be hard to find a product that's super cheap, because that's what everyone's looking for, but once you do find that, you know, a product that you can afford and the product that you can sell, you can start, you know, your next product and the product after that, once you're making money, you can start investing into products with a higher barrier to entry. So as a first product, I would, you know, recommend stay, staying, away with some, staying away from something like this. Um, let's keep going here. I saw this. Uh, this looks like it's menu. I mean, it's uh, shipped from China, but Amazon also sells it, which is interesting. It's been around for 1400 days. This listing is absolutely dreadful. Like, so bad it like I can't even imagine this <laughs> this also looks like it's for Halloween or something which I don't understand why I'd be making sales now um, let's look at the graph and see what it was making oh, so we're gonna need to go let's go in the past year 
So like you can see here, November, September, October, you know, October, you can see right as Halloween is coming, right? It makes a ton of money. So it's making a killing around Halloween, obviously, as you would expect, because it is, it does look like a Halloween, you know, type product. So um, if you guys don't have this, you know, right here, if you guys want to see this, this is called Keepa, and it's a free extension also that you can add uh, from the Chrome extensions, and it will, you know, show on every single, um, every single website, or every single Amazon page, it will show you uh, this graph, and you can just analyze it here. The blue one is the, is the uh, price of the product, and the green one is the sales rank. So that's that. Uh, let's open up the jungle scan and see what's actually going on and how much money it's making right now. Because I think it's, yeah, I think there was an issue and a problem with the web app. Sometimes there's problems with it and it doesn't update super fast. So I recommend always doing this, right? Always open your jungle scan after and make sure that this product is good. Because it's a prime example of a product that is not selling right now and just kind of randomly got, uh, you know, thrown in here. See, it's right here. Here it says it's making $15,000 a month, but that is, you know, it, inaccurate, right? Your, the Jungle Scale Chrome extension is more accurate than the web app. So I'm back with a product that's a little bit nostalgic because when I was first starting off Amazon about 11 months ago, I wanted to get into something like this. I was going to make a video on it in particular. If you guys are interested in looking, you know, watching that, leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys want me to, you know, show you guys a few products that I was interested in starting and why I didn't do them. Uh, but let me know down below. But this was one of the products that I was, in, you know, wanting to start. It wasn't necessarily this exactly but it was a very similar uh, product that it was one of these, something like this, right? Um, I thought that because people are actually, um, you know, kind of scared and fragile stuff, I was gonna go into it and actually, you know, fix the packaging, stuff like that, and make sure that it doesn't break and that it actually sells. So I just found this in the web app, which is pretty uh, funny to me because I haven't seen it for a while, but uh, let's see how, how it's doing, right? So <laughs> um, it has a decent amount of reviews. So it has a lot of reviews actually, so let's just go into the all departments and actually um, see if there's any of them that are making money with low reviews. Yeah, so there's one guy, this guy's sponsored though again. So let's see where they're ranking organically. Yeah, guys, they're, they're, they're very competitive. And somehow these guys, you know, have to fix something because these guys aren't making so much money because they're not five stars. This guy is five stars two of them and it's probably making uh, two, you know, a set of two and it's probably making a killing because they're five stars. This one as well is probably making really good money because it's five stars. Let's open up the jungle set and see exactly what's going on here. Yeah, absolutely crazy money. $177,000 a month. It obviously has 3,000 reviews, but that is insane. Um, it, this, is, this is actually very interesting. This guy right here has two of them, you know, some sort of crazy bundle going on here. Uh, and this guy's also very, very interesting too. Let's actually open up these two and let's break them down and see why exactly they're making money and potentially um, how you could come into the niche and make the money there as well. So really quickly, what I'm seeing here is it's obviously some sort of combo set, which I guess wasn't in the market before. The pictures aren't incredible. They're not, you know, anything crazy or anything, you know, that special. Yeah, they're not too amazing, but uh, he's making a decent amount of money. This guy's only been selling for 98 days. Pretty much as soon as they came in, they were selling like crazy, um, literally instantly. Uh, I'm pretty sure, actually, let me see. Yeah, literally instantly, they came in and started selling like crazy. So what I would do is if I start something like this, I would do, if you were, you know, interested in, in kind of doing this, you know, six pack, whatever, what I would do is I would come in, first of all, read the reviews. Okay, this guy's been around for 100 days and he only has 23 reviews. So that is a joke, like this this is a joke. You should be able to get like, you know, 150 reviews in 100 days, you know, or like at least 100 reviews in 100 days, like a review a day. If you, you know, doing the jump send and you're doing, you know, the product inserts and stuff like that, you should get a ton of reviews. Another thing is he only has a four star. Go into the reviews, figure out why exactly you know, is this product a four star? Maybe a lot of them are, you know, maybe they're great products, but a lot of them are coming in damaged. So obviously people are gonna be, you know, pissed if it's damaged. So they're gonna come in, they're gonna leave a bad review, um, stuff like that, which can be easily avoided if you have a good product packaging that would kind of keep this glass from shattering. So, you know, that's something you can look into. Definitely fix, um, see the, the pack, you know, the box doesn't look very, you know, well padded right there. So that might be a reason. But really, you can definitely get all of this, you know, this whole combo from one manufacturer because usually they all, you know, they do 
one product and all products related to it. That's usually how it works. So you can get all this from one manufacturer for sure. Just get it packaged well and get it shipped over. Guys, you can even start selling it. Like, as you can see in his in his Keepa graph here, he started selling at $10 and then he moved to 11 to 12 to 13 14 15 right? He noticed that it was selling, so he you know, started raise, raising the price. Uh, but... Um, you guys, if it's, if he's, if he can sell it for 10 bucks, right, if he can sell it for 10 bucks and make, you know, some profit at 15 bucks, he's probably making a pretty good amount of profit. So let's open up the jungles cap, you know, I mean the AMZ calculator. So his margin is $7.53, probably sourcing the product for a couple dollars and, uh, you know, landed cost and then making, you know, five bucks profit. Again, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty low, you know, the profit margin is pretty low, but he's selling at like, he's selling 2,300 units a month. So even at $5 profit, that's a ton of money. So that's what I think you can do to get into something like this. Another thing I would suggest is he obviously has good keywords because with only 23 reviews, he's ranking up for a very, very high, you know, demand keyword. So what I would do is I would use um, the reverse ASIN function in Keyword Inspector. If you guys haven't seen uh, my video on keywords, uh, it's going to be up there and you guys can look at, you know, how to get ranked and stuff like that. But I would actually... Um, use the reverse ASIN function in the Keyword Inspector. I have a link down below if you guys want to use it and support me. Um, and actually, what it does is it would extract his uh, keywords. So you can just put his keywords into your listing and then, you know, rank for the same stuff that he's ranking for because he obviously figured out uh, something pretty good here uh, on how to get ranked for a pretty competitive keyword. So this that's what I would do here, and that's how I would beat this guy and also get good pictures and stuff like that. This guy, uh, you know, this looks like a pretty good picture. Again, this is uh, more of, you know, a bigger combo pack, I guess. There's more stuff going on here. The pictures are still not too great. They're kind of like, you know, he's kind of like pasting his product into an already existing picture. So it doesn't look amazing. But, um, I mean, it's working for him. See, this is a nice picture. This is a pretty nice picture. But you want to have some more lifestyle pictures, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, there is ways to improve. This guy has only been around for 51 days. So the other guy's been around for 100. This guy for half of that. And he already has 62 reviews. Like I said, guys, you can get a ton more reviews than this. This guy's 50. He's been around for 51 days and he has 62 reviews. So this guy's obviously, you know, he knows what he's doing. He's using his jump sense. He's using his product inserts. He's getting, you know, his, his product out there. Um, and also he's probably send it, selling a ton. So when you sell a ton of units, yeah, he's selling 4,500 units, guys. That is absolutely insane. He's making $80,000 a month with 62 reviews. That is this is the power of differentiation. This is the power of actually, you know, knowing what you're doing with Amazon. So what I would do with this guy, you know, this guy is really, really smart. He's really, really good. But what I would do here, again, his product reviews are, are four stars. Yes, he has 60 of them, which is, you know, means he's getting reviews very quickly. But you can still compete with someone like this. Go in there, figure out what the problem is. I guarantee you guys, I guarantee you the problem is that they are breaking, that the packaging is not good. If you can get that down, if you can fix that, then you will definitely make money. Get better pictures, do the exact same combo, maybe add, um, you know, some value on top of this. But I think that with a differentiation like this, this is a you know, very big bundle pack. I would say just do what he's doing, sell the products he's selling, put your logo on it, make the branding better, make the pictures better, make the text better, get some better keywords. This guy obviously has good keywords as well. Come in there selling a little bit less money, right? You sell it for like 15 bucks when you're starting off. As soon as you start getting some reviews, start getting some traction, raise the price, and then, you know, people will actually start buying your products as well. Obviously, he has good uh, keywords. Like I said, use the reverse ASIN function to find, you know, the keywords from this guy and the last guy and combine them in your keywords. And then, you know, guys, you know, Bob's your uncle. Like, you, <laughs> you're going to make a killing. So this is this is what I'm thinking. This is what I've seen. This is absolutely amazing differentiation and something that, you know, you guys can learn from. This is, you know, this is an amazing example of how to differentiate a product from everyone else. Let's move on here. I have another product here, a training sutures kit. Now, a problem I'm seeing right off the bat from this one, I wanted to bring this up just to show you. This product right here, um, the problem with it is that it has blades and knives and stuff like that. So you may have problem importing it into the US if you're gonna get it from uh, China. This is also, I believe, a training kit. Yeah, it's a training sutures kit, so it's not a big problem. It's not actually being used on people, but, um, you know, it could be hard to get it in. So that's that. Let's open up the junk so just make sure it's actually making money. Yeah, so see, look at that. It's making actually a lot of money. Another thing I'm seeing here is this one right here, another suture practice kit. So you know what? I'm actually very interested with these practice kits. Let's, again, go to the all departments, 
then type in what a customer would be searching for. So a customer in this case would be searching for a training suture kit, right? So that's what he'd be looking for. If they were looking for a sutures kit, that's what they would be looking for. So <laughs> he's sponsored again. So another thing you're noticing is that you know PPC is very important. You got to get your PPC right. So um, that's what I'm seeing there. And other things I'm seeing, this is a very, very non-competitive niche in terms of all the reviews being very low. There's one guy here, but it's not making too much. I mean, it's not uh, you know too many reviews. Let's open the junk scan and see exactly what's going on here. Wow, almost all of them are making a good amount of money. I don't know if this is a restricted product or if it's you know there are high barriers to entry. Potentially, it's a very expensive. But holy, look at this: fifteen thousand or sixteen thousand twelve reviews, twenty one thousand twenty three reviews, uh, fifteen thousand. What is it? Nine thousand, ten thousand, basically thirty two reviews, twenty one thousand twenty three reviews. So this is actually, um, you know, eight, like 8,040 reviews. It's actually a pretty good product to sell. You guys can come in here. There's actually a lot of different things going on here. So there's, you know, um, there's scissors, kits, there's uh, suture pads, there's um, this training suture threads and stuff. So you can definitely build a brand in this niche. This is something you guys want to look for also. I always say, guys, you don't want to be somebody selling products. You want to be someone selling a brand. So when you can come in there and take over a brand, you know, have like, you know, suture tr threads, which are very profitable, then have suture pads, right? Because they obviously need pads to work on. Super profitable, right? Um, you know, build kind of a business around this. Then no one's going to touch you. Once you get in there, you get a ton of reviews, right? You know, you get your reviews, maybe a hundred, you know, let's say one a day, right? Even though that's low, one a day, you'll get that. Um, so if you're around for a year, that means, you know, your, all your products are going to have like 365 reviews and then pretty much no one's going to be able to compete with you because a lot of these guys have probably been here for a while. So let's open up this guy and I'll, I'll show you guys how long they've been around for just to show you guys how it's still possible to make money, um, you know, on Amazon because people aren't taking it seriously yet. People think it's still a joke, but you know, people like me and you, we're going to come in here and we're going to actually show them that, you know, it's getting, you know, you got to step up your game because, you know, 278 days and only have 32 reviews. That's, that's, that's a joke. <laughs> like guys, you can have at least 300 reviews at that point. So, um, 44 reviews. How long have, have, have they been around? Um, let's see 550 days, 550 days. And they've only had 44 reviews. Uh, let's see another one. This guy probably a while also. This is probably an old niche. Like a lot of people have been selling this niche. 159 days, okay. So, but to only 12 reviews, right? Because that's crazy. You should have like 10 reviews in the first 10 days, you know? Um, yeah, this is this is, this is is difficult, guys. Uh, you know, well, not difficult. It's very easy. It's very easy to compete with these guys because it's so, you know, they don't have many reviews. So come in there. You can easily get 50 reviews in 50 days and absolutely smash this competition. So um, we'll close out of this one really good niche to, to do actually you know very not competitive um if if you can get a good landed cost that's an awesome niche i don't know what this is oh a easy at home marijuana thc why is this product opening with a thousand seven hundred seventy three reviews so this guy's definitely making a killing i'm guessing actually not that crazy um for that many reviews not that crazy but let's see this right here this is okay so this is interesting because it only has 41 reviews only a three and a half star and it's making $10,000 a month. So let's open up that one and see. So you guys noticed that, right? I opened up a product from the web app, then I clicked on the Jungle Scout and then I noticed a product that was more profitable than the product I was looking at, right? So that's what you guys have to be careful of. Don't necessarily look at the product that you opened. There's a ton more products that you can look at that are related to the product that can be even better products that you haven't found in the Jungle Scout web app, right? So that's the whole point of this. Again, one picture terrible picture um it's been around for 500 days only 41 reviews potentially you cannot get this in in uh, in china i'm not positive but i'm sure you can get something similar to this in china 100 so um let's just you know step off this but um definitely something to look into definitely something that potentially could be a very good niche to get into especially with all the rules and the laws changing now this is probably a product that's going to be more in demand as the time progresses 30 times high held handheld magnifying glass with led whatever whatever <clears throat> let's open up the jungle scout the first thing you want to do amazing jungle scout right Seventeen thousand with seven reviews that's crazy now i'm not seeing any related products here for some reason but this product in itself looks really really good so let's go into the all departments 
Let's type in, <clears throat> what would we type in? The main keywords that customer would look for. Hand held magnifying, magnifying glass. If I could spell that, that'd be good. Handheld, but that's not, it's powered or what was it? Jeez, power handheld. Okay, so let's do power handheld and see if that's potentially something that we're, you know, that's that's more profitable. So this guy right here has a ton of reviews and this guy for some reason came in here, only seven reviews, making a killing in between people who have tons of reviews. So let's break it down and see exactly why he's making money and, and why people are choosing this product because he's making the most money out of everyone and he only has 17,000, I mean, he only has seven reviews. There's people here who have 2,000, you know, 1,000 reviews, 1,000 reviews, 250, 600 almost, 900 almost. So um, let's see why, oh, he's in the first organic position, I guess, because the keyword is very, um, you know, niche to his thing. But let's see here, <clears throat> $21, $22. So I guess it's just simply because there aren't many power handheld ones and his pictures are good. I'm actually not sure why he's making that much money. Maybe his keywords are amazing, but if you guys are interested, I can't see really quickly off the top of my head why he's making this money. But um, you know, if you guys are interested, go ahead and look into this because this might be a very good product. I'm seeing right away that he's actually a um, you know premium option, which there aren't many premium options, right? Like 15 bucks, um, $10, $5, $20. Like potentially people are going to him because he's premium, maybe his pictures are good. So check it out guys, because um, doesn't I can't see off the top of my head why he'd be making so much money. So go ahead, check that out. But uh, that's all. Oh no, there's one more product. I think this is our last product, and then um, I'll let you guys go for the day. But um, let's stay, stick around, stick around for this one because this is going to be you know fun to break down as well. I'm actually not sure why it's showing me products with 2,300 reviews because I'm pretty sure in my in my um, actual Jungle Scout you know things I, I narrowed it down to I think only 110, but Let's open up this one. Let's see what's here. Again, we're not going to be looking to sell this one because there's a lot of reviews, but potentially something that is related to this one. And I'm not seeing much related to it, but let's do, um, let's go to all departments and let's type in no fog shower mirror. Okay, maybe that's something we can find. So again, guys, a crazy amount of reviews, crazy amount. Like I said, okay, this guy's here, OXO, huge brand on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they even sell off Amazon. I'm not positive, but it's a huge brand on Amazon. So that might be potentially why they are selling here. So that's another thing you want to look out for is if it's a branded product that, you know, is a real brand and is actually selling off of Amazon as well. <clears throat> Let's see how much this guy's making because he doesn't have many reviews and he has very bad reviews. So pull up the Jungle Scout. Yeah, he's not making too much money. So if I were you guys, again, for a first product, you don't want to go into something like this. They're all making a ton of money but the reviews are a little too high to compete with, especially if you don't have, um, you know, a brand that you're selling and stuff. Anyways, it's going to be very hard to compete with. So I wouldn't suggest going into something like this, but that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy getting into my mind when I was doing my product research and uh, figuring out why certain products are, you know, good to sell and why they aren't. Remember guys, uh, leave a comment down below, letting me know what kind of videos you want me to do next, what kind of stuff you want me to, you know, show, show you guys. Uh, always, you know, looking at suggestions for videos and um, remember to like the video. Let's hit 20 likes in 24 hours. That's the goal that we've set. We've been smashing it recently. So please smash that like button and share the video with your friends. If you guys have anyone doing Amazon, you want to help them out, show them this video, show them how to actually do some product research. If you guys are in, you know, looking for some product research tools, stuff like that, I have links in the description. If you guys want to support me, use those links, um, get Jungle Scout. That's what I use mostly. Uh, and uh, or you could get by our launch viral launch is also really great I think I'm gonna make a video in the future showing us how you know my first look at uh, Viral launch the first you know actual session of doing product research Let me know if you guys want to see that remember guys if you like the video or if you like me subscribe to the channel Lots of great stuff coming in the future Don't forget to hit the notification bell because YouTube won't necessarily show you all my videos in your subscriptions If you don't hit the notification bell, uh, that's pretty much it guys, and I'll see you next time